Hello. I know you were expecting Miss Moore, but I'm helping her out this week. So these four lessons I'll be doing for ELA, and then you'll have Miss Moore after that. Now, what you will need for this lesson is your uh, activity page 11.3 and your reader. So if you'll go get actually just 11.3, so make sure that you get 11.3 out of your packet, have it ready, pause the video, and then start it back when you get through and you're ready. Okay, so today's lesson, our focus is students will replace nondescript verbs with vital verbs. Vital verbs. That's interesting, isn't it? And they show detail and action. So today's lesson is going to be about vital verbs. Um, when Peg, thinking about our story, uh, when Peg first regained movement, she was very surprised. And she said that when it happened, her eyes sprang open. They didn't just open, they sprang open. So what is the verb in this sentence? My eyes sprang open. What is the verb? Sprang, yes. What happens in this sentence? What is the author trying is saying that she did? She opened her eyes, okay? What is the difference between saying my eyes opened and my eyes sprang open? It's the verb sprang. It's more dramatic and more exciting. My eyes sprang open. I opened my eyes. You see the difference? Okay. All right. What does using sprang tell us about the author's feelings at that moment? She was excited, wasn't she? Okay, she was surprised, she was excited because for her to be able to, uh, to do what she did, her, you know, it was exciting. Okay, now, verbs that show drama and excitement help readers visualize action and understand more detail about what's really happening. And these are great verbs to include in your writing. Sometimes these verbs are called strong verbs or vital verbs. If something is vital, it is necessary. It's very important. So the word vital means some different things. It means lively and important. So why would sprang be a more vital verb than opened? It's because it's more active. It's more descriptive. Uh, it suggests that that Peg opened her eyes suddenly and excitedly, okay? All right, now let's look at 11.3 and uh, read with me as I read the directions. Write two new versions of the following sentences. So we're going to change these sentences and rewrite them. In each of your new sentences, replace the verb in bold with a more vital verb. So uh, we have, I walked from school to grandmother's house. I walked to school from grandmother's house. Walked is the verb. What is a different verb that you could use instead of walked? So I want you to write two more sentences using different verbs. And I'm going to write two also.
Okay, I hope you've got yours finished. If you'll look at mine, the first one I said, I skipped to from school to grandmother's house. That's, I got there. I just got there a different way. I trudged from school to grandmother's house. When you trudge, it's like you're slow and you take your time. You could say, I poked from school to grandmother's house. I walked slowly. All right. Okay. So that's that one. Now, I want you to do the rest of these. And while you're doing them, I'll be doing some on the board also. And we'll talk about them. So go ahead, turn the page. Oh, well, you don't have to turn the page. Go ahead and do two through five and then stop and put in different words for the verbs. Okay, let's stop for a moment. And you may be through and you may not. But let's go over some of these and then we'll go over the last one. I threw the ball. I tossed the ball. I hurled the ball. Okay? You may have some different ones and that would that's great. I look um I'm sure Miss Moore will look forward to seeing these. He ate the cake. He gobbled the cake. He nibbled the cake. I've got practice today, she said. I've got practice today, she yelled. I've got practice today, she whispered. Okay, so these are all different ones. You go ahead, if you're not finished, go ahead and finish, and I'm going to write the last one up here.
Okay. The children looked at the dancers on the stage. What else could they do? They could glance. That's a quick look. The children glanced at the dancers on the stage. They could stare. The children stared at the dancers on the stage. Can you think of some others? Maybe they glared. It's a glare. A glare is a frown. So maybe they glared at the dancers on the stage. Okay. So we finished this part. Now, for the next part, it says, now you will use your new verb skills to add some vital verbs to your own personal narrative. Review your personal narrative writing from today and the, the previous lesson and choose a sentence that uh, with a verb that could be more vital. So take what you've already done, your writing that you've already done, these different sections. Now look through it and read it. And where you've got said, maybe put yelled or shouted or whispered, where you've got uh, some other regular verbs maybe put in some vital verbs, some that give you, give it a little more excitement. Now, I don't want you to write them on this page. I want you to write them on your, uh, on your rough drafts on what you've already written. So where there is a verb that you need to replace, just put a line through it, a one line and write the vital verb above it. And that is all of our lesson for today. And I will be with you again tomorrow.